Almost a 1300 point update in the Dow Jones. Get you some of that. Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, this is gonna be quick, short, sweet, and to the point. All right traders, Right now, I did a video yesterday saying get ready for some sort of reversal. I didn't know it was going to be today, but within the next few days, get some sort of reversal. And man, did the Dow Jones bounce or what? And my goodness, my goodness, a 1300 point update. We had a big move down and the, the biggest single point update in the market. Almost 5% in one day. For you guys that were going, nee, 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 this market's going down, this market's going down, this market's going down, blah, 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 all that sort of crap out there. When I said this day right here, I went long my auctions. Guess who's a, guess who's a happy camper today? This guy, right? <laughs> right, guys? And I was explaining the reasons why I was saying these things. Same for the S&P 500, look at the S&P 500, up almost 5% in one day. Look at it bounce strong. All right, guys, I was saying, I was saying for the last few days, I did, one, I didn't expect the, the pullback to be deeper, but man, this thing's coming out of the gates real strong, real, real strong. And I did a video yesterday saying that, hey, looking at the markets right now, we're getting ready, we're getting ready for a bounce, we're getting ready for a move. I talked about that. I said even JP Morgan, look at JP Morgan, up almost 5% today in one day. I talked about Goldman Sachs having a reversal. Look at Goldman Sachs, up almost 4.5%. And I even talked about Apple having a reversal as well too. And Apple today is up almost 10% in one day. I talked about these in yesterday's video, so it's not like I'm talking about right now. Guys, this market like Apple is gonna come up and close this gap right now and we're probably gonna run up to new highs. Right now we have we have had the strongest, right? The biggest, the, the Dow's biggest point gainer ever in the Dow Jones. And we and this is just the start of a very nice move back up to all time new highs. Do not be listening to this bullshit media out there. And I've been saying that for the last week. This is just the pullback. And before you know it, this is not the top. And we're probably gonna like to make the new highs. Look at Apple. Apple's almost at a, almost just a few more days. We're probably not gonna be at all time new highs with Apple again as well too. Now, that may not happen straight away, but you can see what I'm saying here, guys. Guys, please, this is what's going on right now. When it comes to the stock market, there is so much more going on right now. There's so much going on right now, you know, and when it comes to these markets, guys, you've got to stop listening to this bullshit out there, right? Or looking at all this crap out there because it's not going to help you at all when trading these markets. The Dow Jones, the S&P 500 are now bouncing off real, real strong guys. And I'm expecting this market to come up and rally, especially close this gap. And all time new, all time new guys is all time new highs is likely going to happen. And that's why I say, and I've been doing videos all week that this is an amazing opportunity for us to get long, to wait for a very nice move up. And now we have the single, we have almost a 5% in one day up in the Dow Jones. What a bounce, what an absolute, bounce from that there and guys i definitely just see this thing probably even continuing up even more now not every day like this guys but my goodness guys i reckon with the next few months we're probably like going to see all-time new highs coming in the dow jones and the s p and then guess what guys we're probably like going to continue up from here and this coronavirus is probably going to be all over and done with and uh and it's going to be there so so guys the thing i'm going to ask you is that if the coronavirus was really really truly making this market melt down what happened today? Did the coronavirus just suddenly disappear? Why did the market go up? Why did we have the biggest Dow point gainer ever up? Biggest Dow's biggest point gain ever when the coronavirus is still around. Traders, get your head out of the news media and focus on the charts and focus on, on, the, on the media here. And that's exactly what I talked about with my actual private clients today as well too. So I hope this helps you out today, guys. Guys, if you'd like to, if you'd like to um, really get, uh, if you'd like to start to get ahead of the markets, then the very first thing in the description, click on that, get a seven dollar trading course, and in that trading course, you'll be able to start to get access to, you know, some 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 trading techniques, some systems, some approaches to help you start to get really, really, really good at these markets. Get ready, guys. I've been warning you guys for the last week, and I even talked about, I even put something on my community tab saying I went long this day here, this day right here. I actually went long uh, 
in, 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 the, in, the, in the spy, which was this day right here, I actually went long and people said, don't catch a falling knife, John, you're an idiot. Well, today, guys, it's looking really, really, really good. And this is probably likely to be some sort of a V-bounce. Now, that may not happen. We'll have to keep watching it. But if we keep, if we keep getting some strong moves, if we get another few more strong up bars, my goodness, guys, this is going to be absolutely incredible. And at the end of the day, guys, I am positioned for this. And if, if the next 30 days we run up and close this gap, guess who's a very, very, very happy camper? This guy and you guys can be as well too. Focus on, focus on learning how to read these charts, read these markets, guys, and flow with them, and you can do so well. So, if you are short in this market right now, thinking that this is gonna be some sort of dead cap bounce, do not be an idiot. We've just had this, we've just had the Dow's biggest point gainer ever. So that's not a dead cap bounce. A dead cap bounce is, you know, is, is a very, very, very weak bounce. So get ready, guys, get ready, because this is gonna be a very, very, very exciting year ahead. And this pullback here was the greatest opportunity we've seen for this year, I believe.